All right, as far as the uh, width of the jaw, uh, if memory serves, the uh, specifications say it's four and a half. Uh, this is the Yoast, and it's just shy of five. It's about four and seven eighths. Uh, I did measure the. Um, I did measure the Garrett, and uh, it's a little less. It's closer to four and a half. So the Yoast give you just a little bit more. Now, if you notice, I put the Yoast onto the Garrett yoke, and the purpose I've uh, brought this over here onto the poor man's gimbal uh, or the the barnyard um, ball joint is, as I had said before, I kept going on about this lateral piece here. If you if you made one of these, and uh, YouTube has got some of this, I won't go into all of it. But if you made one of these, it can not quite, but pretty much make up for this piece. Uh, as you see, if you put it on the side, uh, you know you can you can take and work with it and extend it over and do a variety of things. Uh, get a whole variety of angles with it, either either in the horizontal or vertical positions, doing things of that nature. Um, a little more cumbersome, time involved. Uh, and there were a few angles, and I'm not going to demonstrate them, but there were a few angles I found that this just wouldn't do, that this would, as far as being handy. So, uh, the, uh, the other part of it is if you combine this with this, it can get really creative as far as the type of angles you can get for the project that you want to work on. Um, sorry. Tighten that up so it'll. So it'll bite on here. There we go. So it can get really creative on the type of angles that you might want to use with a project. So there it is. There's the basis of what the difference between the Yoist slash uh, parrot vices versus what the Garrett Wade has to offer out there.